Hello, we are the Garnets and welcome to our for them presentation for the Tri project, featuring our complete product range and marketing concepts. Unfortunately, we are unable to deliver this presentation in person, so we come to you today in video form. My name is James and I've worked collaboratively alongside these other like-minded, creative and determined women for the past year. Despite the trials and tribulations that 2020 has thrown at us, we have repeatedly overcome the odds, conceptualising and designing an entire menswear range. Leah plans on working on the creative side of fashion, forecasting upcoming trends or working in product development. Rebecca plans to explore the world of sustainable fashion and ethical manufacturing, as she believes the fashion industry has the ability to create positive change in the world. Danny has a passion for maths and science, she hopes to excel in a career of merchandise planning and in the future go into the research and development of sustainable materials. Zoe also has a passion for sustainability. She hopes to change the industry's past by planning and buying for its future as a merchandise buyer. I personally aspire to work as a creative within the fashion and marketing industry, hoping to connect and communicate on a global scale. In Target's words, we live in a world of local and international travel. We are constantly on the go and we require our clothing to perform and function based on our daily routine and lifestyle. We want to spend less time thinking about our wardrobe and more time living life. Target's brief highlighted that the range needs to be versatile, cross-functional and easy to outfit. They also demanded that it is all done in a sustainable and deliberate manner with the end customer and the quality always considered. Target wanted a range with a unique selling point that wasn't its cheap production costs or equally cheap gimmicks. Target wanted a range that understood Target and its consumer. This brief is where the idea for the For Them range was born. Semester one was spent collecting and reviewing data to investigate who Target are and where they stood within their industry, which would ultimately guide us to make informed and considered recommendations on how to optimise the Target Australia operations. This data would also go on to inform our team in the later creation of the For Them range, giving us an insightful and deep understanding of their consumer. From results gained from a sample of over 250 respondents, survey data found that almost half of the respondents would be happy to pay more for a garment if it had been sustainably made, indicating that Target does have a market for sustainable garments. 80% of respondents indicated that Facebook was their preferred social media platform. This data going on to inform us in the creation of our digital marketing strategy. We are aware that within this 80% of respondents, a large proportion were women. 80% of respondents would also rather shop in store, a particular challenge for Target during COVID-19. The main areas that our respondents wish to improve within Target's menswear are quality, sustainability and fashionability. During semester one, we also brainstormed and conceptualised trends that we believe could be adapted for Target. One trend that we could see repeatedly being currently relevant and successful in the fashion world was hip hop inspired ranges and garments. The second trend we identified was the Ivy League trend, a trend inspired by American collegiate life that revolves around style and presentability. The final and most successful trend we identified was the military and utilitarian trend. Adapted for targets consumers correctly, this trend would see functionability meet fashionability. Pockets and zips previously seen in military wear could be seen as ways to hold wallets and keys in the busy life of a target man. Upon presenting this trend data to target, the key points moving forward were to identify what it was within the military and utilitary trend that resonated with the customer and what has made the trend so popular with their demographic in the past. Target also proposed that our customer was being generalised too much of an extent and would rather we should try see the broad spectrum of the customers. The action plan developed after Target's feedback was to develop a range that took an advantage of the military trend ease of access, both functionality and fashionability, the Target was so open to. Furthermore, to then expand the trend into a range not specific in the needs and wants of a particular customer, but to a customer seen across every inch of Australia, from country farms to city apartments to everyday family men. Further to research conducted in semester one, 
Market research was also conducted in semester two so that we could truly understand the market we were creating for and entering. For a more comprehensive overview of changes in both global and local retail markets, please refer to our market proposal report. Currently, global and local, retail landscape has seen unprecedented fluctuations in normality as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to keep countries in lockdown and most travel suspended for the foreseeable future. Not only are consumers not allowed to enter these stores at a normal frequency, there is less demand for their products. This reduced demand for brick and mortar retail has been slightly balanced by the increase of online sales. However, not enough for vast amounts of small and major retail companies alike to keep their doors open. There has also been an increase in political tension between countries, resulting in trade wars, creating more obstacles to overcome in global trade and thus increasing prices. Fused with the devastating impacts of COVID-19, economies, for the first time in decades, are potentially going into recessions. The public attitude has now switched to saving rather than spending. In recent years especially, when people do choose to spend, they ensure the companies they are supporting are socially responsible. This means that the companies must be socially, economically and environmentally responsible if they plan on success into the future. Overall, we found that the current market is uncertain, fragile and ever-changing. One of the primary customers which was identified for Target is a middle-aged male, approximately 40 to 55 years old, who sits at a low to medium socioeconomic status. They actively take part in their growing family's lives, as well as enjoying Australia and all that this beautiful country has to offer. There is not a lot of opportunity to be found in their wallet or wardrobe, as they are more concerned with affordable, functional and durable garments than highly priced, stylish garments. A challenge that we had to encounter and overcome. Also identified was a secondary customer being the wife or partner of the primary customer purchasing the clothes for them. However, upon recommendations from Target, this customer was reclassified as a fellow primary customer, as their business with Target was deemed just as vital. The wife or partner was found to be just as likely, if not more likely, to be purchasing for their husband. This customer is more trend focused and enjoys their partner looking stylish and put together. They are willing to pay more money for both quality and fashionability. This customer is of a low to medium socioeconomic status and similarly enjoys having an active role in their family's lives. She often spends her spare time with her friends shopping or at cafes. A customer journey map was created to display a journey of a customer to find a casual, on trend quality pair of pants within a budget of $30 to $50 after their previous pair had been worn out or gone off trend. A common scenario at Target. A customer's first touch point is information searching. From websites to emails to Instagram and through peers. From here, they often influence enough to decide on what item they want to purchase. In this case, a pair of pants. The key needs that our customer needs met are affordability, functionality, durability, and stylish. The customer journey map explores buying habits that was indicated that the male customer visits purposefully and less frequently. Often only ever leaving the store with the original item in hand. Another challenge we had to face was creating our marketing and VM strategies. The second primary customer was more likely to browse new items and are drawn to promotions when purchasing clothes for their partner. Finally, all alternatives both within and out of the store are considered, only having gone through all other points and all alternatives considered a purchase is made. If they are satisfied and happy with their purchase, they are expected to return in the future with their garments is once again worn or off trend making this customer journey map fully a circled experience. The For Them campaign revolves around an ideology that is already very close to the heart of Target and the heart of Australia, family. In a time so trying and difficult, the one thing that remains is our love for family, community and connection. The campaign allows Target to reconnect with the most traditional fathers, 
and the most progressive, playing on their shared belief that they want the best for them. This range combines elements of both city living and their country counterparts to create a well-rounded and impactful marketing and clothing campaign. We believe our range, with the pre-existing stage that Target has, has the potential for real positive change within Australian family homes. We explore how to be the best father you can be, the importance of men's mental health, and how to return to our Australian roots and appreciate this beautiful country, all with the backdrop of our specially curated Target clothing range for them. To begin to display this range, we created a trend board that highlights the areas of Australian living we want to explore. Nature, family and travel, all framed by the fusion of city and country living. A goal within For Them was to create a range for everyone, regardless of who they are or where they are, and where every garment had a unique purpose, not only to look appealing to the eye. Materials were strategically chosen for their benefits to our consumers and to ensure they met Target's brief where every piece had sustainability in mind. Whether that be the materials used, the durability of the range, or simply the ability to wear the garments in every situation, and thus reducing the waste of unused clothing. The fit of the garments were chosen to accommodate for various body sizes because we know that every dad is different. The pricing architecture for the 4 them range was for the most part kept in line with Target's current price model. However, a slight adjustment was made by increasing prices marginally. Target have indicated a desire to be associated with other high quality clothing brands such as Uniqlo and so by raising prices, not enough to alienate pre-existing customers, Target can begin to associate itself with this same high quality. The pricing of each garment aligns with where it sits categorically in good, better, best. The range varies in price starting at $12 for our basic tees and then up to $99 for our long line trench coat. In regards to colours, neutral and earthy tones for easy pairing and styling with clothes both within the range and out of it were chosen. Pop colours of cedar green and blue horizon pay homage to the military trend origin, while beige hints refer to a more modern day military outfit. The colour palette chosen came from the inspirations of the range. Cedar green and blue horizon for both the military as well as green glass and blue skies. Rustic brown for the land we live on, lucent white for the clouds we look up at in awe. Calming, masculine and versatile. When choosing the materials of our range, we needed to ensure the materials made sense while also adding value to the range. This came in the form of all materials having at least an aspect of sustainability. Once considering Target's price points, it was inconceivable and unrealistic to create an entirely sustainable range, as much as we'd like to. Due to this, we started to think of ways we could ensure that our garments were not going to waste. Soft materials and textures were used to match the soft silhouettes and colours. Simple textures were used to create easy pairing with other garments within and out of the range. Materials such as the garbantine, which is easily waterproof, was the perfect for our trench coat. To make it so our coat is the first coat our customers grab on the way out on a rainy morning. Or the waffle weave, ensuring durability and style, ensuring our garments are being worn to the very end. Multiple of our garments use denim. Despite the known amounts of water it takes to create denim, its strong and durable characteristics ensure customers aren't repeatedly purchasing and throwing out other low price, low quality pairs of pants. Our materials also have benefits that include comfort, moisture drawing abilities, waterproofing, as well as warm trapping, as seen on our medium gauge rib knit. Following Target's current practices, our range was divided into three categories, good, better, and best. Our good category is classified as those simple but key pieces. These are the pieces that can be used as the base layer for a simple or even complex outfit. They are the neutral pieces that are easily transferable to any outfit, both within and out of the range. Our good category consists of our cotton long sleeve top and short sleeve top, as well as our tail neck long sleeve top. It was important to us that our customers also had a staple pair of pants for any occasion. The straight leg jean, or a multitude of simple colorways in our straight leg chino 
ensure the for them range can always accommodate for our customers' fashion needs. The next and largest category is the better category. These are the pieces for the slightly more on-trend consumer. They are the garments that substantiate and add to an outfit, whether it be our button-up overshirt on top of our turtleneck long sleeve top or our flannel shirt on top of our cotton short sleeve top. The outfit possibilities are endless. Our better garments, as do all our garments, walk the fine line of being casual while also being more suitable for more formal events. Our quarter zip jumper making the perfect jumper for a business interview or just a family dinner. Our cargo pants or pocket shirt are also the perfect example of how we have adapted our range from the original military origin. These pocket heavy garments serve as both functional and stylish ways in which to deliver the trend's military origin in a subtle and considered manner. These pockets can be used for wallets, keys and any other items that the everyday Australian man sees himself fumbling around with. The highest tier of our range in both quality and style is the best category. Not to imply that the rest of our range's quality has been sacrificed or lowered, the best category simply excels in fashionability and durability. This is, however, reflected in an increased price points of up to $99, which is justified by the benefits, sustainable aspects and the timeless stylishness of the garments. Multiple pockets on the bomber jacket, like the cargo pants, create ease of storage for any item while keeping it to the timeless silhouette of the military bomber jacket. The longline trench coat, the perfect showstopper coat, without being too in your face about it. The two final pieces of our range are the field jacket and the shawl neck cardigan. Both pieces can be worn in completely different scenarios, showing the diversity and the flexibility of our range. The field jacket to keep dad dry on a wet day at the footy oval, or the cardigan over the top of our pocket shirt on a cosy date at a restaurant with mum. From our bomber jacket embodying the range's military origin, the trench coat fusing modern and traditional style into one, or the field jacket for the adventurous dad. The best category is truly the best the For Them range has to offer. Accessories were also created as they provide a way to substantiate the range in a meaningful and profitable way without seeming out of place. A wristwatch to ensure you're never late for your daughter's dance recital. A scarf to keep your son's neck warm on a cold walk. And shoes to complete the look. A backpack to store the picnic goods or to take your laptop to work. And finally, a simple hat for farmers or businessmen alike for when they don't have time in the morning to do their hair. These accessories can also serve as a cheaper alternative for birthdays or Father's Day gifts. As society shifts to an entirely digital world, there is still value to be found in the traditional methods of advertising. Certain demographics of whose business is vital to target may lack the access, knowledge or simply motivation to consume such digital information and instead must be reached other ways. As a result of this, the 4 them range plans to invest and explore more experiential non-digital promotions. A key strategy in our marketing campaign was visual merchandising. The window and in-store display presents the range to the consumer perhaps for the first time. Military references and earthy tones were used in harmony with the garments to frame and display them while still delivering the family message through props and settings. The goal of the visual merchandising is to not only draw the wife who has been identified as being responsive to VM, but also the husband who does not usually unintentionally browse new items. The typical layout of Target and other fashion retail stores sees the placement of menswear at the back of the store. However, by placing the for them range at the front of the store, we would increase exposure and so an increase in sales and interest are expected to rise also. From our VM, we curated three outfits for scenarios that the for them range could be seen in and displayed in. A day in the park, spent wondering and exploring every mystery nature has to offer. The working week can feel tedious and long, but the reason we stick it out is for them. And once the working week is over, family dinner serves as a time to sit down, reflect, communicate and connect with the ones we love the most. 
Perhaps the first instance is a possible customer could see the for them range is in our window display. Our window display acts as a way to open the dialogue for delivering our message with a customer who isn't even in the store yet or a customer who's even just passing by. Father and son mannequins could be used as a way for delivering the for them family message while also serving as a method for Target to promote their latest kids wear range, homewares or outdoor Target settings could even be used to help create a fully cross promotional display. Once the customer is within the store, our in-store display aims to keep them there without overshadowing or overwhelming the ranger's garments. Our in-store display insists in creating the for them image. Exposed wood tabletops and tree stump mannequin stands serve as a nod to the ranger's natural background, while the neutral and earthy tones also curate around the display help to create an entire for them world within the store. Separate warmer lighting also adds as an easy way to differentiate the range from the rest of the target store. Another goal of the non-digital marketing is to create memorable experiences for the whole family. By creating a country getaway competition, the hashtag for them getaway, Target can draw attention, excitement and sales to the range whilst creating these memorable experiences without seeming gimmicky. Multi-garment purchases result in a unique code that can be used for the chance to win an all-expenses-paid country getaway trip within the relevant state. The expenses this trip would incur would be overshadowed by the mass of consumers drawn to the range first by the competition and then kept there by the quality and appeal of the range. As an example, Victorians would get the chance to escape to the Yarra Valley for three nights with planned trips at chocolatiers, beautiful gardens and a dinner date for mum and dad. With the COVID lockdowns of 2020, Victorians especially cannot wait to holiday in regional Victoria and assist in its economical rebuilding. The digital promotion to a demographic who perhaps are not the most digital needs to be approached in a considered and deliberate manner. If the range is promoted solely through Instagram giveaways and Facebook links, then there is a risk of alienating the very customer who would wear the range. Two separate digital promotional strategies were created that fused together in appearance and message however, are delivered in two separate ways, one for each of the primary customers. When analysing the first primary customer, being the wife, she would use most mainstream platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and would not be opposed to sitting down and reading through a blog post. It is within this realm of digital platforms that the for them range could be delivered to her through sponsored posts, Instagram stories, and blog posts. For the other primary customer, the husband wearing the range, Researchers suggested they are more likely to consume the for them range when scrolling on Facebook or the website, and thus this is where our efforts will be directed. Sponsored posts and Facebook friend sharing will allow the range to appear within his thread, which will direct him to the website. The for them website was designed to captivate the customer with something other than discounts and bargaining tactics. The layout was designed similarly to the current target website but with an aspirational flair, like what you might see from more affluent brands. Often, retail stores can overload the customer with sales imagery that can be quite overwhelming. Like the For Them range, the website is stylish yet simple. Customers can easily navigate to the range, transparent information on target, or the vision and background of the collection itself. The goal of the social media campaign was to gradually introduce consumers into a new capsule range through multiple posts from outfitting, sustainability, influencers and campaign giveaways. Both Instagram and Facebook were used as they were the two most appropriate platforms given the age and demographic of the range's audience. Posts on both platforms were made before, during and after the launch of the range to increase sales and website traffic. After reviewing our market research, it was clear that our influencer proposal needed to be people that our consumers can easily relate to and have access to. We decided to provide an influencer to both of our primary customers. It was determined that Jonathan Brown, an AFL great, and Zoe Foster Blake were the perfect fit for both of our customers and the target community. The content mock-ups on the following slides show how a simple caption can bring exposure and attention to our campaign and what its purpose is, to dress the loving family man. 
Jonathan Brown is a former professional AFL footballer and a radio presenter living in Melbourne. These two paths in his life have led him to now have a large following of almost 100,000 people on Instagram alone. His age, AFL past, following and the perception the community have of him, a loving Aussie family man, make him a perfect candidate to assist in the for them range. Zoe Foster Blake is an Australian author, columnist, magazine editor and cosmetics entrepreneur. She is an avid social media influencer with her Instagram alone having over 750,000 followers. Her followers consist of predominantly Australian women of a similar age with similar interests and thus she promotes products and companies which align with her following. She is often seen posting pictures of her husband, comedian Hamish Blake, in family pictures while promoting her latest venture. Another digital strategy conceptualised is the For Them blog. We recognise that those consumers who choose to read our blogs are not interested in reading about how great our new shirts are or our amazing new prices, so we used our blog posts as a space to give back to the consumer as a thank you for being part of the For Them community. This giving back came in the form of both advice on how to be the best father for them and a prize pack consisting of a family getaway to the country. A blog also offers the availability to communicate a bigger amount of dialogue. For our range, we thought it was important to deliver a message as well as a range. This message being the importance of men's mental health and how to be the best dad. In closing, the For Them range doesn't exclusively seek for profits or even notoriety. The key success is seeking to improve the lives of the everyday Australian male and the family. We are doing this for them. Thank you.